Hey everybody. Hi, I'm AC with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. It's a beautiful day out here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys the 2020 Winnebago Bolt. This Bolt is gonna be the 70KL model. Stock number is 5N190749. And again, this is the KL floor plan. We do have a BL floor plan as well, which we'll do in another video. The Winnebago Bolt is going to be their four season coach. Uh, it came, they, they picked up a lot of stuff that they did in the Revel. And this is a really good four season coach and I'll explain why here uh, as we go through the coach. Uh, I want to start here in the front just to show you something really quick so I don't forget. This right here is going to be a step actually in the bumper. So you can get up here and wipe off the bugs clean your windshield without having to carry a step stool around. Okay, this is on a Sprinter chassis. It's got the Mercedes. It's a 188 horsepower engine, a three liter V6 engine. I was kind of demonstrating this net for you guys. This is really handy, especially when the weather's nice and warm like today with a little breeze. Uh, you don't have to keep zipping it up and down. You just open it, go inside, let it drop and it'll get back in place. Um, so while I have you out here, I'm going to close the door. This door is an automatic door. It doesn't make a lot of noise. You don't have to be opening and slamming it, waking up your neighbors if you're on a campsite. It'll actually stop wherever you pull the handle. So if you have big pets, you have a, I have a boxer, for example, and I know that he would just push through this net. So if I wanted to give him a little bit of breeze, I would just close it and give him a little bit of space, but not have to go chase him down after a while. As we move back here to the back of the coach, this comes with 215 inch or 215 watt panels, solar panels up top. It also has an external port so you can add more panels. This will go up to 600, it's expandable up to 600 watts. There's a cable input here, so if you're at a campsite and they have cable, also a 12 volt, and then you have two standard plugins. Here's your black waste tank flush. So that's where you would flush out your black tank. As you come around the back here, you'll see we have a quick connect for propane. It's got a 25 gallon propane tank underneath. And that's where you would hook up your barbecue grill also has a tow, tow hitch with a seven pin connector. It's got a 5,000 pound capacity. And then your ladder. I want to point out that the ladder where it's at is just storage. Okay, right there, that's just where the ladder goes while you're moving around. You're not supposed to be climbing up and down on there, although most people do, but that's not uh, what it's made for. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit how, how you're supposed to use that. As we come around this side here, you can see I have one of the lights out here on. Here's your tank fill for your water. And then another cable inlet. And then you have your 30 amp service shore power. And the cable will be in the back. I'll show you where that's at. Under here, if you can come down here, Cherish. You've got your black and your gray tank drain. Obviously you want to go through, you want to drain your black tank first and then your gray. And then it's got a three inch sewer hose outlet there. This is going to be your Truma uh, exhaust port for your heating. And then here's your city fill. Okay, underneath here, if you want to get under here and look, cherish. Here's your sewer hose uh, storage area. It's kind of, it kind of slopes down, which is good. When you open it, if it happens to have anything left in it, it'll just drain out. And then here is your propane tank. Really easy to get to. Like I said, it's 25 gallons. It's really easy to turn on and off. Uh, 
Uh, the steps uh, this year for 2020, they put a bigger step on there. It's got a tie down ring and it's got lights on. So if you have your pet outside and you want to tie them down for a second, you can tie them to there. You can also tie your bike. Uh, if you have bikes outside, you want to tie them down. It also works as a, as a step or as if you want to sit down on the other side, there's plenty of room um, when you have the canopy out. Just like in all the other sprinters, here's your fuel tank. It is diesel, so make sure you put the right uh, fuel in it. Now because it is diesel uh, and it is a new vehicle, it's going to have DEF. You can see there we have the Alcoa aluminum wheels on it. So under here is where your DEF tank's going to be. This is for your battery. If you have to jump your your bolt for some reason, this is your your hot, and then you would just ground it. Um, there's usually another port right here, and that's where you would put your ground. Okay. Back to this side again. Now you can see the running board on this side is really long. Again, if you don't want to carry chairs around, this works just fine. Uh, it's got a 13 foot carefree awning, uh, which I will open. It's single push button. So you just push it once. You don't have to hold it down. Also has LED lights. on the inside here. Okay. And again, it's a 13 foot awning, so it's, it's large enough to give you plenty of shade, uh, especially on a day like today. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this up. Really simple to do, good quality. And I think every coach should have a screen. <laughs> yeah, especially in hot weather like we have here. Um, so again, you have a screen here. We'll go around the back so I can show you. It's got a screen on the rear as well. So back here on the KL model, uh, the bathroom is in the back of the coach, uh, which gives you a bigger bathroom. Um, let's see here, a ton of storage back here. This shelf is adjustable. Here's your outdoor shower with the water pump switch back here so you don't have to go inside the coach to turn it on. Here's your hose, which is just a quick connect hose to the middle. And here's your sewer hose. You also have some regular standard outlets. Got a 12 volt and some USB ports out here. In case you want to listen to some music, put in your iPod while you're taking your outdoor shower. As you can see up here in the back, uh, it's a little medicine cabinet there with the mirror. Water pump switch right next to that. You have your toilet paper holder here. And let me switch places with you. So right back here, you've got a sealed compartment. If you want to put something in there, some extra toilet paper, you want to put some shampoo. The Truma also has a vent in here, so you have a heated uh, shower. And it's got a bamboo mat. And then, since we're out here, I'm gonna climb up here and show you the closet. 
So you can see it's a really good size closet. Here's your rod. Right now we have our 30 amp shore cord plug stored back here. Here's your shower curtain. And this actually goes up like a regular curtain. Uh, it doesn't velcro or anything. It just kind of pins up there. And then right now there's a couple of the floor mats that go up front. So a lot of room. Here's a vent pipe that's out of the way. They did a good job of pushing it to the back corner. And then okay. that's a screen right there. This is a screen as well, just like on the front. And it works just the same. So it also blacks it out um, when the doors are closed, which I'm gonna do now. So you can see there's a little pocket here and a pocket on that side if you wanna store something in there. All right, now I was talking about this ladder earlier. It actually has a key, so it locks. I unlocked it a second ago. So I can show you guys how, how this is supposed to be used. So you can move it along the side here. You wanna find a spot where the solar panels aren't. And as you can see, it's gonna rest on these panels here. So those panels are, are uh, reinforced. They're not gonna push in like on the back of the door. And then you can climb up here to get to whatever you need to get up to. Can you show the solar panel? Yeah. Sure. Just move it real slow. So as you can see up here, here's your max fan. There's one of the solar panels, which again is 115 watts each. There's your air conditioner. And there's the, the rear solar panel and then also the HD TV antenna. Okay, you're done with that. You take it back here and put it back where it goes. And I just lock it in place. Some people choose to have the ladder permanently mounted on the side so they can do some, add some additional accessories. Uh, if you want to get that done, that is something that our service department can do for you. All right, now we can go inside. I guess before we do that, here's another fill. And this is just a gravity fill for your water and then your dewinterization valve. Right here is gonna be your awning control and your awning lights. So as you can see from the inside here, church, if you wanna show the, the LED lights on the awning. And I'm gonna leave the awning out just cause it feels really good with it out. Okay, so this is the KL model. So as you can see, the, the seating is kind of staggered here. And I'll let you climb up so you can kind of show that. So the bed is kind of staggered. Uh, one of the nice things is because of that, you actually get a really wide section on this side. When we put it together, you'll see that. Uh, if you have uh, a kid with you, your child, I know my if I had one of my kiddos with me, we could probably squeeze in here. I'm going to make this a bed. This just pulls out. You kind of got to get out of the way here. This is going to move to the middle. And then you're going to put your cushions in on this side. All right, let's see if you hand me this one. There you go. So again, this gives you a really good sized bed. Um, I'm gonna climb around here and show you. Just like I do in all my videos, I like to be lazy and lay down. So one, one person can fit really comfortable here. You've got another space here, and then the third can go right here. Uh, so again, it's really, really good size. And You've got two seat belts behind here. If you can, so you can actually sit four people with seat belts while you're driving. And then we just scoot it back. Really easy to do. Uh, there's also some storage under here if you want to kind of. There's three bins. They're pretty deep. 
So you can hide a lot of stuff under there. Uh, cabinet space. We've got some pretty deep cabinets. Good quality, these are really quiet. Here's your DC charger here for your solar panels. Okay. And in here, if you can show in here, you're going to have another 12 volt charger, some USB ports, HDMI cable, and then a cable for the, if you're at a camp and they've got cable set up. Okay, another nice feature, TV. You've got your 24 inch TV that's on a swivel. So if I want to lay down on this side, I can lay down and watch TV. Or you can just turn it this way and hog the TV to yourself on this side. Okay. This is the brains of your operation here. This is your power on and off. Uh, so it's a push button, you turn it on. It takes a minute to shut down. It'll shut off. You turn it back on. Because this is a KL, this is the lithium battery pack. Uh, I mentioned earlier that it's a four season coach. Uh, you, this one actually, when you have the inverter on and you have the system on, you now have, it's like you have a 30 amp uh, shore power plugged in. You don't have to be plugged in to run all of your appliances like you do in some other models. The air conditioner run off the, the batteries. They have a, a run time. You can run if you're fully charged. Uh, some customers have said they can go eight, 10 hours with the air conditioner on overnight without being plugged in on, on a full charge. That's cool. Yeah, so again, it really is set up to go off the grid. Part of the four season that we mentioned is here's your tank, tank heaters. So if you're in a cold climate, you just turn on the tank heaters, keeps them from, from freezing. Again, some more space there. These are maple drawers. You can tell, you can see there, they have a dovetail joint on them, so they're really solid. And here's one more. Again, good size. You have a JBL soundbar here that is on a, this is your Ram tracks, which you'll see all over the coach. Um, it's mounted to the Ram tracks. Here's a Ram track here. I'll show you. They have a lot of accessories for the Ram track. You've got little baskets like these, these little catch-alls that are mounted under here uh, have magnets. So they hold up. You can put all your loose change in there cell phone when you're getting ready for bed. Also the shades, really easy to operate, real convenient. You just lift up on them when it's time to go to bed and you have your night shades. Uh, the JBL speaker is also Bluetooth. So you can use it for your TV, but you can also set it up as a Bluetooth speaker for your phone. Uh, if you wanna listen to music, uh, whatever you wanna do, it works really well. You've got a true induction cooktop here. Again, you want to make sure you use the right kind of pans um, so that they work properly. You've got an induction microwave here. Convection. Or convection, sorry. I was talking about the induction cooktop. So yes, you have a convection oven so you can cook, you can uh, bake, you can grill. You can do all kinds of things in that oven. When we get to the sink here, here's your cutting board. So again, bamboo cutting board. Plenty of room in between the cooktop and the sink so that you can work up here, do all your cutting up all your vegetables. And then there's your Nova Cool fridge. Looks small, but it actually has quite a bit of space in there. Here's another little drawer. And again, you're going to see there's outlets everywhere. Um, and like I said, once you have your system on uh, with the lithium battery pack and the inverter, this has a 3600 watt inverter, which is a huge size inverter for a small coach like this, but that's how it can allow you to run all your appliances without being plugged in. And let's see here, more storage up here. Obviously you have your fan, which comes in really handy. Uh, 
and I'm just going to open these up so you can see. And again, these are made so that they're really quiet while you're driving. They're contoured in the back so that they make uh, optimal use of the space. Push buttons so they don't open up while you're driving. Oh, let me show you this table. So, a couple different uh, table options here. So, you can use this as a workspace if you want to just sit down and work on your laptop. Again, there's outlets everywhere. Um, it folds off for storage here. You know, if you want to stand up here and you want to paint or draw or something, it's good if you're doing some scenery work. And it's also, you can actually move it. And this is, uh, this is also on the ram track, as you can see right there. But you can move it in here and slide it into place. Let's see here. here we go. And it takes a little bit of practice, but after you've done it a couple times, it's not as bad. And you can set it up in here. Whoop. You can slide it up and down, obviously. So you can get it to whatever height you want it, and then right here is where you would tighten it up. So it offers extended workspace. Yeah, kitchen. you can. Uh, if you want to sit down and eat in here, you got plenty of room. Again, if you want to do a puzzle, if you if you're cooking, you got more countertop, and it's really easy to do once you've done it a couple of times. So, like I said, it takes a little bit of practice. And these accessories, like I said, there's a lot other more accessories that uh, you can get for the Ram Track. There's iPad holders, um, more baskets. They have a bunch of different accessories that you can add. Uh, yes. Yeah, there's. Uh, that's where you would normally put. Um, you can put your night shades up here for the front windows. Uh, store them up there, black out your windows, your front windshield and your side windows. Um, in the cockpit here, these seats do swivel and there's another table behind me. You want to make sure that you move your seats forward before you swivel them. Because if you don't, you're going to be hitting on the door. That's the other thing you got to watch out for. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Let's see here. Then you can adjust your seat. And it's all push button now uh, on the door. So you kind of get, again, you get used to doing it and you figure out exactly where you want to, where you have to have it to swivel around. But once you get this, you can pull this table out. Again, really good workspace. Um, there's some outlets over here if you want to kind of show that. Again, 12 volt USB, and then your standard outlet there. So good workspace. You can sit here, you can eat, you can pull out your laptop if you want to do some work. Slide it back down, and then swivel it back. And again, you got to make sure you move it. It comes kind of a process here. Both seats will swivel around. Uh, because this is on a 2020 chassis, you're going to have your adaptive cruise, your lane assist. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so you can see the display. It's got a 10 inch display. All the controls here on the steering wheel, as you can see, you can control your stereo, check your levels, your mileage, and then here's your 10 inch screen again. It's got navigation. It's a really easy to use screen. You can go over to your, your apps here, go to your smartphone, it has Apple Play. Uh, really easy to connect to. It also has Mercedes, 
So you can say, hey, Mercedes. Sometimes she listens, sometimes she doesn't. She's like Siri. <laughs> but normally if you, if you say, hey, Siri, or hey, Mercedes. Come on, Mercedes. She don't want to listen to you. Usually when you're talking, she listens and you don't want her to. Uh, but you can use it to search. Um, here's your vehicle. It's got a bunch of different options that you can do. You can check your cameras, set your warnings. Um, it does have a backup camera, and I'm going to put it in reverse here so you can see the different settings. <laughs> All right. If you've never driven one, um, the gears are right here. Uh, it can be a little confusing at the beginning if you've never driven one because all you do is push down on the on the pedal here. You can push down, it puts you in drive. You push the, this is for your park, so you just push the button there, it puts you in park, and then you go up to go to reverse. But if you've never used it, there we go, it can be a little confusing. Uh, stereo controls, volume controls here. It does have separate temperature. Uh, heated seats. Comes in handy in Colorado. We've got a button right here in the center that shuts the sliding door. There we go. And if you want to look, show down here, again, outlets everywhere. Makes it really easy, really, really user friendly. Uh, there's not a lot to it. It's not a complicated system. Uh, people, you know, when you get your first coach, a lot of people are afraid to break things. It's a really simple system. Nothing's going to break if you push the wrong button, right? So you can push your awning. You just one button push. You push it one time, it comes in. You push it once, it goes out. Don't be afraid to to play with the coach when you get it. Again, if you purchase from TransWest, we do a walkthrough with you. We will spend anywhere from one hour to four hours, depending on what you need to feel comfortable going through all of the systems. We'll let that come in here. Again, one button push, the system turns off. Pull the handle, the door shuts. Really simple. Um, if you have any questions uh, on this specific model, uh, or, or again, if you want us to do a different model, we'll do a BL in another video so you can see the different floor plan. Uh, just feel free to uh, write in, text, email. Uh, my cell phone is 720-276-4241. And you can uh, text me, call me. Uh, you can like this video, share or comment on it. And also I do speak Espanol, so you can call me at 720-276-4241. 720-276-4241, 720-276-4241. Thank you guys.